Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. What a bookend of our fall festival week here in the Evansville area. We started the fest earlier this week with high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, and now we wrap it up with high temperatures today only in the low to mid 60s. And we woke up to very chilly conditions, and that's going to be the case again tomorrow morning. We could even be a touch colder tonight and tomorrow. It all kind of depends on how soon these clouds move through. That's primarily for our northern counties. But let's take a look at some of those lows. Again, before the break, we showed you that low this morning of 45 in Evansville, but other temperatures across the tri state right around 40 including up in Jasper 40 degrees on the dot this morning 41 you woke up to in Owensboro and Calhoun another 40 degree reading down to the south in Greenville and I think we could even see some upper 30s in some of those rural locations kind of the outlying areas away from the city limits would not be surprised especially down to the south where I think you're going to be mostly clear through most of tonight areas especially along north of I-64 tonight by daybreak that's where the clouds will start to increase so again depends on how soon those clouds move through uh, could hold those temperatures a little bit warmer or if we stay clear through most of the night could drop them quite a bit as well but here's a live look at the Saturday evening view of the twin bridges from our Ellis Park Tower camera beautiful colors there uh, here after uh, sunset this evening the same situation beautiful scene there from down in Central City one of the cooler spots again mostly clear skies that's our Austin Holmes Tower camera and a look at the west side of Evansville West Franklin with the lights now lit up on the rides on uh, the fall festival the last night here and uh, not not too bad right now just a little bit ago about 5 to 5 30 we had once again quite a stream of cars uh, kind of parking if you will on the uh, Pigeon Creek Bridge there waiting to get into the festival another great crowd looking like uh, great weather as well definitely fall like so bundle up if you're headed out to West Franklin we're down to 61 dew point at 34 so pretty dry air once again so once the sun goes down here continues that sunset uh, we're gonna be feeling the effects of these cooler temperatures quickly through the 50s and once again down into the 40s overnight tonight some 50s across most of the tri-state as well. A couple cooler spots. We've got some 55s showing up in Carmi across the Wabash and then down to the South Madisonville and the Greenville Central City area, both showing 55 degrees as well. And again, with these clear skies for the time being, we're going to be falling quickly through the 50s here. And wind speeds, again, it was a pretty uh, chilly and windy day overall. These are sustained speeds, about 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts at times, still around that 20 to 25 mile per hour range. And we'll be in that same ballpark, maybe not quite as gusty tomorrow, but still below normal temperatures, gusty winds is going to feel pretty chilly for your Sunday. Not quite as much sunshine as what we had today. Again, primarily over our Indiana in Illinois counties, but no rain to speak of. That is at least some good news, and rivers are holding pretty quiet once again and pretty low across the tri-state as well. Right now, only a couple of crests that we have in the forecast, one being the Wabash River over in Mount Carmel, uh, just over two and a half feet by Tuesday evening, and then Monday morning, the White River and Petersburg will crest just over a foot and a half. Everything else, though, holding pretty steady here across the region, and once again, we go into this week with high pressure keeping us mostly clear and quiet, and not much in the way of rain chances until first maybe overnight Tuesday into Wednesday and it looks like our next system comes in for more widespread showers and storms early uh, Friday and Friday afternoon but uh, closer here to home again We've got those clear skies continuing across the tri-state. As we go deeper into tonight, the clouds will begin to increase from the northwest, primarily for the north and northeastern corner of the tri-state. So again, if you're across western Kentucky, I think you stay uh, clear for tonight and pretty much clear for tomorrow. Again, I don't think wall-to-wall -wall sunshine like what we had for most of you today, but just a few of those cumulus clouds this afternoon. Future Tracker does want to show the clouds again thickening up across Indiana and Illinois with the more in the way of sunshine down to the south. And and uh, kind of more aggressive as we go deeper into Sunday evening and Sunday night. Those clouds push to the southeast Monday morning and then a good amount of sunshine for our Monday, but still temperatures are going to be running about five to seven degrees below average. I think we'll be in the mid to upper 60s for high temperatures on Monday. Overnight lows Monday night, once again on the chilly side, lower 40s, but then we start to get closer to normal for the middle part of the week, and that's where we'll be watching some scattered showers and storms late in the week. Tuesday looking dry, but overnight Tuesday, early Wednesday morning could have a few scattered showers. Those chances are pretty minimal right now. But tonight, again, the rest of this evening will be falling through the 50s and overnight lows right around 40 degrees. And again, would not be surprised to see some upper 30s for part of the tri-
tri-state under those clear skies and calm conditions as well. We get back to near or maybe even just above normal with highs in the mid to upper 70s with a few showers Wednesday morning, a few showers possible again on Thursday, but that cold front looks like it's timing out more so early Friday to Friday afternoon. That's going to drop temperatures below normal once again next weekend. Next Saturday, highs in the low 60s.